81 and M82, also known as Bode's Galaxy and the Spiral Galaxy, are a pair of galaxies located in the constellation Ursa Major. They're 11.8 million light years away from my cold, dark and wet back garden and tonight I'm going to photograph them. My name's Helena and welcome back to my channel, Helena's Astrophotography. <music> same setup that I used to shoot M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount, my Skywatcher EQ6R ATED telescope with the Canon 7D Mark I attached to it. For my guiding, I'm going to be using the Lodestar X2 guide camera with my 50mm guide scope, and I'm going to be using all my regular software that you guys have already seen on my channel, which consists of Backyard EOS, PhD2 guiding and for post-processing Photoshop Creative Cloud. In my previous video I actually mentioned that my doublet had a focal length of 600 millimeters. It doesn't, it actually has a focal length of 510 which was kindly pointed out by someone in the comments. Thank you. The reason it's 510 rather than 600 is because I'm using a 0.85 times reducer flattener. If you don't already know what a reducer flattener is, it basically flattens out the entire field of view and reduces your focal length to create faster imaging. Also, at the edges of the image, it prevents star trailing and flattens out the stars nicely so they are crisp, clear and sharp. I am using Skywatcher's own branded one specifically made for the Evo Star Doublet Refractor. With all of that nerdy talk being said, guys, let's get on with today's video and the setup of all of my equipment. How's it going? As you can see, I've got all of the equipment set up now. This is actually two weeks, roughly two weeks later since the last clip you just saw. This is for a few reasons. Reason number one, my laptop had a major hardware malfunction um, and I had to fix that up. Second, my camera's been out of action, but I've managed to source um, somewhere where I can borrow one, which is awesome for the time being until I get my new one. So I've been fixing loads of technical things. My cable for EQ Mod came, so I'm going to be using EQ Mod instead of the hand controller to control um, the mount from the laptop. And you know what that means, guys. That means I'm going to be doing plate solving through APT's point craft. Hopefully I've got everything set up okay. If you guys don't know what plate solving is, it's basically when the computer calculates the coordinates of the surrounding stars in the image and it uses that to slew to your target and center it, um, which is ideal really with faint targets such as nebulae and galaxies when you don't actually know when it's if it's in the frame. So it's absolutely ideal just for that extra confirmation and um, for the centering of the target. So firstly, I'm gonna slew to Vega which will be over there for my focusing routine with my batting off mask and then from there I'm going to punch in the coordinates um, of M81 and M82 the slew right over, it's going to be straight ahead up here and um, obviously that's after all my polar alignment but hopefully everything goes as planned I'm super excited for tonight's imaging session the skies are meant to be clear all night so I shouldn't need to come in because of clouding which is absolutely amazing I'll see you guys later on. I'm going to go and set up EQ mod and all the coordinates and stuff, but I'll see you guys later for the imaging session. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm outside with the equipment now. It's about nine o'clock. The sun sets officially at five past nine. It's getting later and later by two minutes every night, which is really frustrating from my point of view because I have to wait 
um, a long time to get under the stars, but it means that I appreciate the time I get even more. Not only am I working with a full moon tonight, I am working with a super moon. So a super moon is when the moon is a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter than a normal full moon. I think it's about 14% bigger. So as you can see, over to my right there is quite a big um, full moon dominating the sky. I do have my shot set up. So the M81 and M82 are up there. And the super moon is at the opposite, opposite ends of the sky. So it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So first night shooting without the hand controller. Let's hope it all goes as planned. I'll see you guys when M81 and M82 is in the frame, but until then, enjoy some of my B-roll. I'm using personalised coordinates through Stellarium, so basically I'm bringing up the frame of my camera um, and the sensor size and my telescope focal length which is 510 due to the 0.85 times reducer and I'm putting that all into Stellarium and it gives me coordinates when I type in the date and time of Bodes and Cigar and then I can just punch them in easy as and it'll slow to it. This is only because um, it's two galaxies. If I was doing one, I would just slow to, say if it was pinwheel, I would slow to M101. But because it's two, I don't want it centering one or the other. I want it centering both. So I'm putting in personalized coordinates for that. So I'm just gonna do that now. Hi guys, how's it going? I just did my focus on Arcturus. Actually, I didn't do it on Vega. I did it actually um, before my polar alignment because I had a little bit of time to spare, so I thought I'd get my focusing done, so I decided not to do it through plate solving. Um, and I just did it manually, so that's all good. Um, so I've just done my focusing, waiting for Polaris any minute now. Polar alignment and straight to M81 and M82. Let's go.